Okay, and we're back. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. Wait, this saves. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. I missed. Damn it. Too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. I hate these bikers so fucking much. You entitled piece of shit! Can I attach? Oh, do I even have one? No, I don't. Tracy, baby, Paul. I'm worried too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help. Like, serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the. Come on, Tracy. Okay. I feel better. I don't know if these uh crash compilation little little mini compilation things are gonna get old anytime soon, but um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna record myself driving until they do. Until I get sick of them, at least. Especially you know something. Anytime I don't have the camera on, something good happens, and it's just like, what the fuck? Could you have not waited like three minutes? I can fall out when I fucking kill Kellogg off screen. It's like, son of a bitch. Come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael, Devin Weston, did he, does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring and might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. <coughs> well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself. A meltdown. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs>
What the fuck? Damn it, that one wasn't even my fault. The rest of these are gonna be though. <clears throat> I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyway. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Oh fuck, do I have to activate it to fucking... Oh my god. Oh, this doesn't have a suppressor, huh? It's this? Yep. The pigeon was a narc. Send. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna punch you in the face, and then that's gonna be the end of this. Dude, Michael should be in Mortal Kombat. Just fucking rights. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Okay, here's the deal. Oh, I don't have a sticky palm. I have got to go get some guns. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant. They're not meant to go this quick. We're going to break up. We're going to break up. Put on the brakes, Slick. He's out of control. Be reasonable. Enough. 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 Right. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess he had a point there. I'm still gonna fly just as fast as I was. Hey, Milton, watch. I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, you should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say. Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot. One foot in front of the other. Just walk faster. Ice cold, baby. Come on. You vanilla ice looking bitch. What a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah. Uh. I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume, but would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need... An associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Whew. Ah! Hell yeah. Can I steal a fancy cart? No. What the fuck? Oh, do I have a parachute? Should, right? We'll find out. Oh, let's go say hi to Devin Weston. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go get some guns first. Uh, right over here. Don't hit that building. Don't hit that building. Don't hit the building. Okay. Good enough. I really want to see Michael get his head cut off one of these days. <laughs> okay, where exactly? I want to just like land right in front of him. Perfect. Son of a bitch. Traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. <laughs> so what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh. Let's go, T. 
Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'll guess we will, homie. <laughs> <laughs> fucking arms and everything. Oh, God. Alright, let's see how many times I crash trying to get to this fucking mission. Car's gonna look like a fucking crumpled up catalytic converter at the end of this. Fuck. Shit. Let's try it again. Not gonna risk it. I'm gonna get there accident free. It's gonna be perfect. Trust me. I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. I'm actually doing this. Holy shit. Uh... Cool. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck hey, is this How about seven? we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. The fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. I know a guy like this. <laughs> One of my best friends. Shit. Fuck. Alright, I'm still not doing too bad as far as damage goes. I really thought I was going to total this thing in like a half a block. Why the fuck did that come out so weird? Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. Okay, I end up doing this mission like three or four times every time I play this, so I'm gonna try to be pretty careful this time. Good luck with that. I'm not crashing. It don't look like they're stopping. 
How you doing, T? We gotta hang in there. They'll stop eventually. Let's do this! Let's get him! Coming up on Polito Bay! We're gonna gain some ground on him! Our patience will be rewarded. Stay with them! The urge to just shoot every car that I'm passing. Do I even have the shotgun? Oh yeah, I just bought it. I bought a bunch of shit. That one was intentional. It doesn't fucking count, you smart asses. <clears throat> I had to try it at least once. Fuck it. Come on, I can nail this. Don't die, don't die. Sweet. <laughs> you know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey, you want your car back? Here it is. I gotta get my eyes checked. Yes? Mm -hmm. I know that voice. Hear that Johnson's Johnson. <laughs> Molly Schultz, senior vice president and general counsel to Devin Weston's holding company. Uh, you sure. oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Big Horn in South LS. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Don't hang up. I oh, I think I love you. Hey man, you know how hard it was to try small enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South LS. So that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Oh, it's lonely at the front of the pack, boys. It ain't over yet. I can still take you. You believe that? No. I've got this pretty well covered. Proper response, I'm sure he was looking for Michael. What the fuck? Hey, look, Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely 
you gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Well, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. Fuck. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. Trevor has already won and crossed that line. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Who the fuck is that guy? And stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right. I already met the motherfucker. Don't get a phone call. Okay, cool. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a good one.